holiday season is upon us, and that means yeah. a lot of things. Of course, it mm -hmm. means we got to decorate the outside of that house and give us that holiday spirit. So Tanya Meme yes. is here, and she's going to help us put up the lights and do it properly and do it mm -hmm. in a safe manner. Before we do that, let's take a look at your brilliant work Thank that you, you were here Thank last you. night working on. Look at that. Look at these shots. Oh. We were here until 10 o'clock at night working doing, on it, but we had so yeah, much fun. Yeah, after we uh, finished yesterday, Check it you out. were here doing it. Look, it's beautiful. Yep. You know, I... You, have a you don't have a before shot, right? Well, we have that before okay. from the beginning of the, yeah. from the opening of the show. So let, first of all, we want to... It seemed like a lot was going on, but yet it seems so simple. Well, this is the thing. First, the first thing you want to do is figure out what kind of a design you want, right? And I okay. wanted to sort of keep it simple in a way. And what I mean by that is all of the lights on the house, like the arch of this one here and all the way across here, even, even the, the icicles across the arches there, they're all white. So I kept everything on the right. house white and everything that's in front of the house red and gold. Simple. Simple. Gave it yeah. some separation too. Right. Oh, but you don't right. necessarily think that, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, and have fun with the lights. I mean, you can use all different kinds, like here we have icicles, you can use a spotlight, like let's yeah. say you don't want to go through the whole hassle of putting up all these lights and this and that. Put a couple of spotlights on your house, oh. and that looks great too. Well, look, what is it? We're looking at almost December now. I know a lot of people yeah. have already tried this, or they're going, oh, I still have to do it. You grew up you up start north, now. and you started way <laughs> early in Canada, yes. right? It was a huge family tradition. My dad would start, I mean, we'd start in October because you want to start before it gets too cold or wet. Yeah, and yeah. then you have to take it all down. Okay, right. so we have our plan. We decided yep. what we want to do. Then, what's our next step? What's logical in this? Well, I think the next thing you want to do is just take out everything that you already have out of your garage lay it all out sort it out and test it plug it in see which lights work That's so which ones don't yeah. work right and then you know what you need to buy right. and before you go shopping make sure you get the square footage of, of how many lights you need how many strands you need and I would say get shorter strands as opposed to longer strands they're they're not as expensive they're easier to, to, to fix if you if they need fixing yeah and, um, and have fun with stuff I mean check this out you can also get like different kinds of lights you can get like this reindeer over here I love this it was already pre-lit. All I oh, did sure. was put a little bow on it and a Christmas ball, right? Yeah. And, and then uh, on the shrubs, you can either decorate them yourselves with bulbs, or uh -huh. they always, have you seen the ones with the, the netting and then it's already pre-done and you yeah. just sort of like drape it over? Yeah, you just put them on them, they're, they're fine. It's, right. They're, yeah, it's easy. It's, it's very, very easy. simple to do. Did you put yeah. a little red in I that? I did, I love mistletoe. A little so mistletoe I just, I, I, in I, his you ears. <laughs> Here's the problem that I run into, and, and I guess this is logical and makes sense, but I know it's something you thought of, is yeah. I'll get up there and I'll either start stringing them and realize I've got two male ends stuck together, or I, I get to the end and I go, I don't have an outlet. Right, well, it's kind of good to figure that out before well, you start I guess that's working. part of the plan, right? <laughs> yes. I know, and you just think it's such an easy process, but right. you really need to step this out in your yes. mind as to what you want to do. Plan it out first. Yeah. Look at where you're, where, well, you have to figure out how many extension cords you have, where your outlets are, and then you don't want to oversaturate each outlet with too many plugins because then you're going to kind of go over the wattage that your house can can take Pull and you're going to end Clark up like the Griswold. Griswold. Like the yeah, Griswold. just put it yeah, all in there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll get into the suite, but you did some nice accents up here as I well. I did, yeah. I mean, reeds are always easy, you right? you mountain climber? Well, you know, earlier... we did it all last did, night. You, that's crazy. It was fun. All right, so let's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do, I'm going to get on a ladder because okay. I, I I'll can't join let you. you show up in your construction worker <laughs> orange and, and show me up. But You like that, huh? <laughs> okay, so Tanya. Yes. You put lights up, and this has always been a concern. I want to get the right fasteners. I want this to be an easy process. This so is what I'm going to talk to you about. Okay. These are the most amazing fasteners on the planet. They're, um, they're, it's fairly kind of a cool new thing, but instead of like, you know, using your staple gun or tape or however people put their lights yeah. on their house, literally the bulb fits right into this, no, mm -hmm. into this part here. Mm -hmm. And then this part, just you just slide Slides. it right onto the gutters or right here, the, the rooftop tiles. And it, it doesn't ruin anything. It keeps everything safe and, and, and scratch free. Sure. The, uh, w uh, you'd mentioned earlier about, you know, you're always plugging them in. I'm like, oh, you got to go around and plug in this one and plug in this one. Of right. course, I turn them on. Right. But and that's no fun. Yeah. So you, can you get said a timer, a self timer. timer. Yeah. And you can also get timers that kind of go to the beat of the Christmas music. You can buy them in a hardware store. They're pre programmed Christmas songs. Or if you yeah. plug it in, it'll start dancing the lights to the Christmas music. So I love that. <laughs> oh, another, <laughs> another thing that you did mention, which I love, is like, you know, because sometimes climbing a ladder isn't 
the best thing to do. But you said yes. there's a great option, which we didn't do here. You do have a wreath up. Yep. But there's a good wall space that you could, what did you, you said? We can use a spotlight. So yeah. just to, and literally the one spotlight can illuminate like a half of this house. So this would just take two or three spotlights and it would look fabulous. So you don't have to go through all the rigmarole of like, of Putting hanging out. all these lights and if yet, you don't want. And you then yet you have the holiday spirit. Festive feeling. <laughs> Let's get up a ladder, shall okay. we? Let me get behind you here. I want to put some of these up because you know, if I don't, the crew guys are like, you didn't do anything, Tanya did there it all. Go, okay. This and way at know, least I can get away with saying, you know, I helped. <laughs> you did, you helped. All right, so now I'm coming up a little bit higher. And you want to do it safe too. I mean, before you get on your ladders, make sure that they're in working order. You want to be safe about that. Make sure that all your extension cords are working and that there aren't any like loose wires anywhere hanging out. Okay, so you know, right away I got a question. How far do you want to go? Because you're just stretching. Do we well, have a distance in mind? How we want to? The spacing is generally between 12 to 15 inches, and that's so that. Have you ever driven by those houses and you see just this big blob of colorful Christmas, like like we mentioned before, the Chris Walls, and you yeah. just you can't <laughs> really tell. You can't differentiate each of the lights. It right, looks just right. like a big mess, right? If you want it to look a little more tailored and designed, it's good to space your lights about. 15 to 12 inches apart. So when people are driving by, checking out your house, it looks pretty cool. So you really, even at like this distance between, between the bulbs is, is pretty good. So let it's it perfect. go. These Don't are bring already... it in like this way and right. try to do them. And I... then you have like wires going all over the place. Yeah. And some people have them up and down and like, they're all, twi you know. Sure. How do you so my... your lights work for your, you probably <laughs> I, don't do I, Well, I got a, I have a, a high, like a two story house. So it's just, it's up the ladder I go and it's on a gutter. Are you so afraid of heights? I am a little bit, I'm gonna say that right out loud. Bit. Right, right now bit. on national TV, I'm a little bit afraid of uh, heights. But okay, so and I, did I got this right. I'll did come I flip over and it? do the house okay. for you guys. Oh, no, you there won't. you go. No, you won't. <laughs> I would not let Don't that happen. Don't dare me. Okay, hang on. I'm pulling you off there. I know. Okay, there that's okay. Is it good? Okay. Yeah, and you just slide it in. Look how easy. I do. Well, yours I got is upside, it. Oh. upside down. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It has to be the right well, side Well, light goes oh, both God. directions, right? Well. I, it's Tanya. I have to apologize. She worked <laughs> no. so hard on this, and I'm screwing it up at the it's very, okay. at the very, very end. Not really. You could never mess it we up. We have some ideas for you on our website if you'd like to visit uh, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. And, and Tanya has a million ideas on her side. Tanya's tips. There Tanya's you go. Tanya's tips. And your website is www.tanyamemi.com. That's so difficult to find, <laughs> I'm it? sure. Uh, you know, we don't see the elf. He's around here somewhere, I bet. Where but, um, is, really? He's he may showing be, up again? He may be on the shelf somewhere. He is was he? here last night. He was here last was he? night. Uh, he was. Okay. Well, he's coming up next, so don't go away. We have to get this plugged in. We are. We're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting there. there. We're getting there. <laughs>